Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at Comet Atlas, the, the latest information around the, the Interstellar Traveler, where it's at, where it's going, and what it's currently doing right now. You're looking at a photo of a meteorite that was spotted above Moscow. It's green, like Comet Atlas was at one time. I'm not sure exactly what color it is. I'm going to share with you guys some images from spaceweather.com. In fact, here we go right now. This is from the GOES-19 CCOR-1. You can see Comet 3I Atlas from the 18th through the 24th, the Stereo HI1, September 11th through the 26th, and here's the Lasco C3, picking it up October 15th through the 26th. And as you can see, all three of these images share one common denominator. This comet does not have a tail. It's never had a tail. This is at its perihelion to the sun, its close approach to the sun, and it still doesn't have a tail, according to these images. So if it was ever going to have a tail, it would definitely have been during perihelion. So here's a look at the, the NASA JPL. Here's Comet Atlas looking from the Earth. Comet Atlas is behind the Sun at around the, the 2 o'clock position in the vicinity of Venus, getting ready to head out past the, the orbit of Jupiter here in a few weeks, and then out into the outer solar system, never to be seen again. This is an interstellar comet from another star system, so it won't ever come back to the solar system. It's made a, a rare journey through the inner solar system with a close approach to Mars, now Venus and Jupiter. And once again, the most recent images are not showing any type of a tail at all. So I'm not quite sure what type of comet we're dealing with, but it is definitely unique. I want to take you guys now to northern Arkansas. Did anybody hear a loud boom yesterday? Some people are reporting hearing it and feeling it. Some people are reporting just hearing it. Anyway, this seismograph here was shared with me by Liz, who's from northern Arkansas, who did hear the, the loud boom. And this gentleman right here by the name of Todd found this seismograph in Arkansas that did show some sort of a weird signature around the same time people were reporting this loud boom in northern Arkansas. I went to the earthquake map and you can see there are some earthquakes over here in northern Arkansas, but these are on the 27th. There are two right up here, very small ones along the Arkansas-Missouri state line. And then there's also one in central Arkansas. Those three were from the 27th. Other than that, there was no earthquake activity over here at the USGS. So whatever this signature was that showed up on this seismograph more than likely was not an earthquake. It definitely could have been associated with some sort of a, a large boom that people are, are reporting. If you guys happen to have heard that large boom or felt it, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Coming over here to the homepage of the website, today's feature photos were sent in by T.H. Lyon out of Hudson Bay, Canada. Some spectacular auroras from the most recent geomagnetic storm we saw. Canada's always got a front row seat for these spectacular auroras. Thanks for the photos. Really appreciate that. Coming over here to the GOES X-Ray Flux, looking at the latest solar flares, and you can see there's been some flaring in the last couple of hours. Almost saw an M-Class solar flare, but it retreated right before it got up to the, the M-Class range. We're currently out of the, the small geomagnetic storm that we've been in the last 36 hours. So, so not too much going on with regard to the sun. However, that could change here in the next 48 hours as that active sunspot behind the sun is turning towards the earth. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.